visuals coming in where one can see Sanjay Singh, uh, you know, at the Mahatma Gandhi Samadhi, Mani Sisodia there, standing, paying his respects, folding his hands, and now walking outside. Sanjay Singh accompanying Mani Sisodia, and both of them now, after paying respects, have started to walk. Hello? They are sitting down at the Mahatma Gandhi Samadhi, both Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh, Saurabh Bharadwaj, all of them are now sitting at the Raj Ghat, paying their respects to Mahatma Gandhi. Seems like they'll be sitting here for a couple of minutes before they start walking outside and once they do, then from Raj Ghat, it will be a direct. The journey will then end at the CBI headquarters on Lodi Road. Those visuals that you see on your screens Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, accompanied by Amadmi Party, Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh, Amadmi Party leader Saurabh Bharadwaj. They are paying their respects to Mahatma Gandhi. <coughs> and the other leaders are outside. Leaders like Atishi are outside waiting for Manish Sisodia to step out and once he does, then all these leaders will be accompanying him to the CBI headquarters which is on Lodhi Road. Amami Party has been talking about the fact that today is the day when CBI could possibly arrest Manish Sisodia. In fact, Arvind Kejriwal through two of his tweets since morning is pointing towards the fact that a man who has given good education to the children, those children and the parents of those children are standing with the Amami Party and they are giving their blessings to the Deputy Delhi Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. In fact, a picture of Manish Sisodia with his mother seeking her blessings, taking her blessings also came to the fore in the morning. And after seeking blessings of his mother, Manish Sisodia, accompanied by other Amami Party leaders, has now reached the Raj Ghat, paying respects to Mahatma Gandhi. And now, we'll be moving to the CBI headquarters. The time given by the CBI, the Central Bureau of Investigation, for the questioning is 11 a.m. So it seems like in a couple of minutes, Manish Sisodia will be moving from here and heading towards CBI. The distance between Raj Ghat and CBI is almost 8 kilometers. So roughly a 20 to 25 minute travel for the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister to reach the headquarters. And once inside, the questioning on the alleged Delhi liquor policy scam will then start. Now this investigation relates to the now withdrawn Delhi liquor policy which was introduced way back in 2021. Manish Sisodia is the head of Delhi's liquor excise department which is why he has now come in the line of fire. The Raj Ghat is a memorial dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi and one can see that in this historical place Manish Sisodia accompanied by Sanjay Singh, sitting and paying his respects. The Aam Admi Party is also drawing a parallel between Manish Sisodia and Shaheed Bhagat Singh. In fact, Arvind Kejriwal, who is the Delhi Chief Minister, has gone ahead and also said that even if Manish Sisodia is arrested today, it will not be a curse, it will not be a shameful act, it will be for glory. Many Aam Aadmi Party leaders are outside the Raj Ghat waiting for Manish Sisodia to step out. The Raj Ghat is a memorial which is dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi in the national capital. The Aam Aadmi Party is saying that they will emerge victorious and this is a fight for truth because of which they have now come to seek the blessings of Mahatma Gandhi. This is the Samadhi of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, where one can see Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh sitting, probably discussing the next course of action. For Manish Sisodia, 
this road from Rajghat will straight lead to the CBI headquarters on Lodi Road. The place where he is sitting is the Rajghat.